So what's the deal with fluoride? Does fluoride in drinking water lower IQ? And should we remove it? from the water supply. The answer to this is more nuanced than clickbaity headlines will want you to believe, so let's discuss. Last year, the National Toxicology Program discussed a relationship between fluoride exposure and lower IQ in children. The truth is that these studies are based on areas with extremely high fluoride levels, often above 1.5 milligrams per liter. In contrast, U.S. public water is regulated to a level of 0.7 milligrams per liter, a level that strengthens teeth, reduces cavities by 25%, and has no proven effect on IQ. They even said it found insufficient evidence to support claims that fluoride at regulated levels harms brain development. Yet anti-fluoride activists ran with this without understanding the simple fact. Yes, in high levels, fluoride can be problematic, but not when regulated and in safe amounts. Fluoridated water benefits underserved populations who may lack consistent access to dental care or fluoride toothpaste, reducing oral health disparities. That is the point of public health initiatives like water fluoridation to help the greater good. Fluoride safety and effectiveness depend on proper dosage, such as using a smear of toothpaste for kids under three to minimize risk and keeping fluoride in water supply to regulated levels. Families who don't want to use fluoride can discuss options with their dentist. You can still have healthy teeth without fluoride, but having fluoride in safe amounts is also beneficial for many. You can check your city's fluoridated water status here. Removing fluoride from water altogether is fine, but only if all communities are better educated on dental health. Read below for more and check out my YouTube for the full video.